All right, welcome back. Tonight on The Factor, we're truly blessed to have as our special guest, live via satellite from the Vatican in Rome, the Most Holy Father, Pope Benedict XVI, Your Grace. It's an honor and a privilege, sir. Oh, bless you, Bill. Am I in the no spin zone? <laughs> <laughs> Your Grace, listen. A lot of the liberal crazies in the media are blowing this supposed sex scandal in the church stuff way out of proportion. I mean, a few bad apples don't spoil the whole bush, or right, Your Eminence? I mean, come on. There have been a few um, incidents, Bill, but the life of the priest is most holy and devout. Just because most priests are homosexual pedophiles and they gain unfettered access to little boys through the Catholic schools, the youth ministries, and by parents just plain handing their lads over as altar boys, doesn't mean that anything's going to happen, at least not anything that can be proven. The priests love the little boys. They really love them. And they love to see little girls, too, to a lesser degree. Weren't you an altar boy, Ben? You know how much the priests love you. They must have really loved you, Bill. It's not like it is today. I mean, Father Mike was a tough guy. He kept us all in line. I mean, he didn't put up with any bull. So listen, Your Grace, I, I don't know if it's come across your radar, but there's a so-called church of nut jobs out there called the Westboro Baptist Church, and they're led by this loon, Fred Phelps. They hold signs that say stuff like, Priests rape boys, Catholic priests are liars, and they have a sign about you that calls you a pedophile pimp for crying out loud. I mean, these people are just nuts. They even have a website. Get a load of this, priestsrapeboys.com. What say you, Your Grace? I know, I know, I've seen them, they're everywhere. And it's just awful what they say, just so hateful. And it breaks my heart. The priests, they love the little children. They just love the little children so much. Yes. And the little children, they love the church. The little baskets, and eggs, and yummy jelly beans, and little chocolate bunnies, and Santa Claus with the toys only for the good children. Yes, the little children make us all feel so good inside. So good. Ah, uh, I can still remember when Father Mike used to give me chocolate bunnies if I was especially good. I was his favorite, you know. Yes, I'm certain you were, Bill. And speaking of these Westboro wackos, Your Eminence, they even have a video out there where they mock the whole Catholic institution. This is an absolute outrage. Roll the tape. Come here, little boy. The Catholic Church is waiting. Just step inside and meet the priests and bishops you'll be dating. Come on, moms and dads. Your kids couldn't be safer. Just pass your seat through Molex fires and we'll give you a waiver. Priest rape boys. How evil is that? It's kind of a catchy tune, really. Diddle, 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 diddle boys. <coughs> but just awful, Bill. Just awful. How hateful and hurtful. Exactly, Your Highness. And speaking of hurtful, these whack jobs even stood out in front of a Catholic church at a soldier's funeral and held signs saying, Thank God for dead soldiers and you're going to hell claiming that God is punishing America for its sin, including its acceptance of homosexuality. I mean, the father, who didn't even see the signs, was really distressed over the whole thing several days later. So he sues the church, wins a judgment, but the Fourth Circuit overturned it, and now it's headed to the Supreme Court. Holy Father, we have the man standing by live. Could you just give him a few words of encouragement against the obvious evil that he's up against? Oh, yes, of course. I'd love to. Welcome to The Factor, Mr. Snyder. I just want to take a minute to let you know that we're all behind you. It's great for ratings, and the Westboro crazies are really easy to vilify anyway. I mean, the Bible? Come on. Hello, Herr Snyder. I just wanted to give you a poor play blessing on behalf of all the Catholics everywhere. Your son died serving his ego and self-righteousness, and I'm sure you miss him, but he is in a better place now. He was so handsome. I bet he was a fine altar boy, as I'm sure you were. Yes. <laughs> You're kind of a pussy, aren't you? <laughs> Your Highness, Mr. Snyder's been through a lot. I mean... It's a lot of work cashing in on your son's demise. Yes, well, 
God loves everybody, even pussies, I suppose. At a time like this, it might make you feel better to chant some stuff over and over. Like some Our Fathers or a few Hail Marys or maybe even try some Fallout Boy lyrics. That emo rock really gets me moving. <laughs> I like Fallout Boy, Boy George, Boys to Men, and the Beastie Boys, Fat Boy Slim, Soldier Boy, and Los Lonely Boys, the Beach Boys, and Boys Like Girls, although I'm not much on that name. <laughs> All right, well, we, we've got all this craziness going on in America. I thought we'd bring on someone who can speak to the supposed general decline of morality in this country. So now joining us live via satellite, Joel Osteen. Reverend Osteen, good to have you on The Factor. Oh, thank you, Bill. It's just so wonderful to be blessed to talk with you and, and with the Holy Father and, and this guy who keeps crying. So these Westboro crazies are saying that America is doomed because of our tolerance of sin, like homosexuality, divorce, abortion, etc., etc. What say you, Reverend Osteen? Well, I've been following this group in the news since long before you said on your show that you'd, you'd never mention them or, or do a story about them. And I, and I just think that they need to call on Jesus to be their personal Lord and Savior. You see, Bill, God's got a plan for your life, but he needs you to put it in motion with your free will. God gave us that gift of our free will, Bill. You know how I know I got free will, Bill? Watch, I'm gonna put my arms down. No, I'm not. <laughs> you see, I decided to do something and then decided not to. It's my free will. Now that really, really hurt, Bill. I'm real sorry about what happened to your son, Mr. Snyder. And I assure you, God had nothing to do with it. <laughs> oh, Lord, you are kind of a pussy, aren't you? Well, God loves you. He loves everybody. And if you just tune into my TV show, check me out, Bill. I'm worldwide just like you. Or call one of my toll-free prayer hotlines. We will pump sunshine up your keisters about how loved you are all day. And all you ever have to do is just give us some money and we'll make you feel real good about yourself. It works out real well. Doesn't it, Popey? You got that right, Herr Osteen. Cha-ching! Alright, I'd like to thank my special guest, Pope Eminence, the Grand Poobah of the Universe, <laughs> Albert Snyder. Try to hold it together, man. And Reb Osteen. <laughs> Great teeth, by the way. If you go to my website, you can pick up one of my books, Priest Rape Boys, ah, it'll put hair on your chest, or How to Have Hot Sex Using a Loofah for Kids. Ooh, can I get a copy of that one, Bill? Me too. If you wish to opine, contact us at The Factor, but do not bloviate, and remember, the spin is all we got, so we're working it. It makes us famous.